In this video, I'm going to share with you some ideas, some ways you could use Microsoft Excel in your personal life to be more organized, efficient, productive, and well-managed with time. My name is Rosanna Hernandez and I have a website called efficiencyandorganization.com where I teach how you could be more organized, more efficient, better managed with time, more productive to be able to accomplish a lot more in life. I wrote an article called 11 Ways to Be More Organized by Using Microsoft Excel, which is available on efficiencyandorganization.com. I'll have the link at the bottom in the description, but I wanted to share with you a few of the ideas in this video with you. Before I share the ideas, I just want to make sure I tell you I'm not a tech savvy person per se. And also Microsoft Excel has a lot, a lot of functions, a lot of different things you could do with it. I just know the basics. And if you don't know a lot about Microsoft Excel like me, don't worry about it. So the first way I use Microsoft Excel in my personal life is by having a list for the holidays. So every time the holidays near, Christmas nears, what I do is I strictly refer to that list. I name it my Christmas list. And basically I have the names of everyone that I want to mail a Christmas card to. And some of them, what I also do is if they're family members, I uh, write down that I need to purchase gifts for. So in a typical year, I buy about 60, 70 gifts. They're not very expensive. They can't be because I have quite a few people on my shopping list. So some of them, like the gifts I buy, involve chocolate bars and such, but they're gifts, right? So I just want to make sure I don't forget anyone. And so that's why I just have the name of everyone listed on my Excel sheet. And then as I prepare the cards, as I prepare the gifts, I just highlight them and that way I know I'm done and I've gotten everybody. And if we rely on our memories too much, it's hard. The brain gets just way too cluttered. And so that's why it's so, so important to have some kind of an Excel sheet that you can use to keep track of everyone that you need to uh, show some appreciation to when it's the holidays. Another way I use Excel is for event planning. So like for example, when Thanksgiving comes, let's say it's going to take place at my house. I want to write down everything that I need to do. Again, I don't want to rely too much on memory. I have a very, very busy life as I'm sure you do. And so I don't want to forget any of the details. So I just go to Excel, I open a sheet and I write down what I need. If I save it, then the following year or two years later, if I happen to do it again, I have an organized list that I can refer to. Another reason to use Excel in personal life is for personal finances. So like an income and expense sheet. It's so important to track how much money comes in and how much money is expected to go out, kind of like a personal budget. This is how I've been able to stay very organized with my finances. That way I don't accrue much debt is just by having some kind of a budget that's on Excel. What I love about Excel is I learned how to do the adding, subtracting, like the very basic functions of it. And it's been a tremendously helpful tool for me. I use Excel for my goals. I write down all the goals that I have and I have them in category. And so what I do is I have those on Excel and I track them on a once a month, once every two month basis. I have the Excel sheet is called goals. I open it up and I try to see, have I met the goals or am I on track? If I'm not on track, then it's kind of like a reminder that I need to get back on it. What do I need to do to make sure that I'm working towards achieving a goal? I also use Excel for my shopping list. So what I have is one for Target, one for Sam's Club. I have one for my groceries. So all I have to do is open up and like every time I know we need to buy something, like let's say it's Q-tips or shampoo or something, I go and put them on my Excel sheet because I'm always in front of a computer. And then that way I can just take a quick picture of it before I go to the store or I could just print it. I hope some of the ideas that I presented were helpful to you that you can try also yourself. Please visit the website and subscribe when you can get a chance. Also, please subscribe to this channel so that way every time I have information to release that's educational, that has to do with being more efficient, more organized. Thank you for being with me. I will catch you in the next video.